Wandering down a shady country lane in Center Point, Indiana, you might hear something surprising. <coughs> tigers. This is Joe Taft. We have more tigers than anything else. We have well over 100 tigers. He likes cats, which is one reason why he founded the Exotic Feline Rescue Center in 1991. Over the years, we've cared for well over 400 cats here. And that's no exaggeration. The Exotic Feline Rescue Center is currently home to more than 140 cats. We have African lions, we have leopards, we have cougars, we have bobcats, we have servals, we have ocelots. And the list goes on. The roads that led many of these cats to Joe were incredibly painful and sad. Some cats came from the photo booth industry, some from abusive circus road shows, some from international endangered species smugglers, and some were even kept as pets in backyards. But Joe and his team have been providing medical care, open play spaces, and food to every cat brought to them. Speaking of food, to feed all these hungry cats, Joe and his staff of professional animal handlers go through between 1,500 and 1,000 pounds of meat per week. Yummy. But lunchtime isn't even the most exciting thing happening at EFRC. The first weekend of September brings the final Evening Roar event for the year. Guests can make reservations on the EFRC website and can also expect to spend time with the big cats when they are much more active later in the day. Oh, and also... It comes with a lot of good food. Guests can also look forward to the rescue ride on September 15th and the kid favorite fall festival in early October. To find more information about these events, check out their Facebook page or go to exoticfelinerescuecenter.org and sign up for their digital newsletter. But if you're really itching to see these cats, come on by the center between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. and take a tour with a handler. Tours are only $10 for adults and $5 for children. So get those paws on the road and come running down to the exotic feline rescue center to see these beautiful cats and support wildlife conservation. We'll be on the lookout for you.